In 2011, a very excellent rom-com came out called Crazy Stupid Love, starring Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, and many, many others in this cast. And uh, <clears throat> what a powerful story it told, even though it was a comedy. Uh, it went through what divorce was like, what finding yourself again is like, uh, what raising children is like, and many, many other issues. So a really fun one here, but uh, I really want to concentrate on this one scene. So let's take a look right now at Crazy Stupid Love. Guess what? My wife is having an affair with David David Lindhagen. Lindhagen. David Lindhagen, I know. How do I know that? I don't know. I'm a total stranger. How would I know something so intimate about your wife? David Lindhagen screwing your wife, too? No. <laughs> Do you want to know why I know that, Cal? <coughs> okay. Because it's all that I've heard, Cal, for the past two nights. It's all anybody's heard. You're going around and you're like, you're like badgering people with this sad sack, loser, sob story, and I don't understand why. No, I don't need this crap. Cal, sit down. All right. Look, I know that sounds harsh, but it's true. And you need to hear the truth. Cal, you got a kind face. You got a good head of hair. You seem like a nice guy. I want to help you. I'm going to help you rediscover your manhood. Do you have any idea, like, where you lost it? A strong case could be made for 1984. Well, we're going to find it. We are. I promise you. And I promise you this, too, Cal. When we're done, this wife of yours, She's gonna rue the day she ever decided to give up on you. So as you can see, a very powerful scene here, right? Didn't hold back anything. And you're saying to me, Greg, you know, what, why are we talking about relationships right now? What's going on here um, with, with this scene? And what are you going to do to flip this into a story for everybody, not just a man trying to find his manhood? Well, if we watch what happened here, so this was a very pivotal, powerful scene in this movie, and it kind of sets up the entire hero's journey of this movie. So when we make movies and we look to do uh, the, the dopamine and the oxytocin and the endorphins in people, right? We have to we have to deliver a great story, something that has highs and lows, something that has suspense, something that has cliffhangers, many many things, and we usually find our hero, our person that's going to be the hero at the end, has to have that low moment. So we're bringing him to that low moment of, of getting a divorce. His wife had cheated on him. Um, he didn't understand life right now. He was going out to the bar uh, night after night, just sitting there and complaining and playing the victim. We talk about that a lot on the show, playing the victim. And along comes this uh, you know, alpha male who sees him doing this all night long and wants to take him underneath his wing and try to help him rediscover himself. So in a harsh way, he starts this off, but sometimes we need the harsh truth. Sometimes we need somebody to kind of kick us in the ass and give us uh, a wake up call. And he certainly gave him this wake up call in this short speech, but very powerful one. And it, set, it sent Steve Steve Carell, this character here, down this journey to rediscover his manhood and to in turn, in the end, make his wife, you know, regret the decision to give up on him, so to speak. And we have different motivations from all different areas of our lives, but, you know, we look at how we get motivated, the things that happen in our lives that give us this boost this ambition to go out and prove something to do be somebody different right it could be many many different factors not just relationships but a lot of times those can really propel us forward i believe those are <clears throat> some of the toughest things on the planet to go through uh is is these uh, relationships with the intimacy involved but when we look at this scene where is your hero's journey right doesn't have to be the relationship 
but you're going to find your part where you are beat down. You are feeling down on yourself. You're playing the victim. And all of a sudden, you find yourself reinvigorated, re-inspired. Somebody said something to you. You read something. You watched something. And all of a sudden, you're inspired. You're getting back to the gym. You're losing the weight. You're uh, hitting the spirituality. You're going to yoga class, which you've never done before. Um, many, many different other things. You, all of a sudden, you rediscover yourself. You're going on hikes again. You're doing art again. You're doing these things that you maybe used to do, but you lost track of yourself, right? And that's what he's presenting to this man here. You've lost track of yourself. And some of us, since a child, have lost ourselves. We talk about remembrance on the show a lot, right? Remembering who you truly are. Remembering the, the power that you have. Remembering how amazing you can be. And, you know, sometimes it takes those trauma events. Those, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm ready to change, right? And some, some of that came from going through the pandemic that we went through. Some people decided that I'm not going to work this job anymore. I'm not going to do this thing anymore. I'm not going to go this, through this routine anymore. I'm going to change, right? So it takes these events in our lives sometimes to really help us see that we really do want to change because it's so easy to just do the program loops and your ego loves it and your parasites love it and all those things inside of you love it because we don't want to change even the mind the emotions the uh the, the chemicals that we release every day right it always wants that sugar rush at two o'clock in the afternoon or it wants that coffee in the morning all of these things that that continue us in the same loops loops after loops after loops and we're here uh, for you to try to get you to find that spark to change just that little bit change your behavior and then it just starts to transform you until you metamorphosize into something that you never knew you could be right so in this movie I really love the journey that it took and the way that the, I mean it had many many awesome characters uh, things to do with kids the things to do with a marriage, things to do with dating, things to do with um, um, uh, situations that are funny and, uh, you know, come together comically, but not so comically if you're actually living through it, not watching it. But uh, all of these different types of uh, uh, scenarios came uh, together in this movie. And I thought it was really, really fun, really excellent movie, uh, Crazy Stupid Love. But it also had that amazing journey of this man to find his his true self again, right? Or even better person than he ever had been, right? Not only to just find himself, you know, from 20 years ago, but to really turn into that butterfly, right? And take off. And he, I don't want to give away the ending, but it was 2011, but he certainly found, had spread his wings and found how to fly. And it made a drastic improvement in his life for his kids for his family um, and for himself to have discovered all of this and uh, you know that's the journey of a coach right to watch your clients find it right they finally find it sometimes it takes a while but they finally find it and they spread those wings and they and they start to take off and maybe they become a coach as well which is amazing you know that's what we want for people we want them to find their real true self and then be able to pass it on right to be able to pay it forward remember that michael jordan had at least 11 coaches in his lifetime right do you think you're as great as michael jordan think about the people that you need to come into your life, whether they're free or paid or whatever, whatever it happens, you have to open the space for people to teach you. There's a lot of people out there that have had great experiences or they understand things a certain way and they could show you that little bit, that little bit to help you. And then you get another person that shows you a little bit more. 
and a little bit more. And then before you know it, you're this well-rounded, amazing uh, champion, right? Like Michael Jordan. Um, so we, we can't underestimate the people that come into our lives. And Ryan Gosling came into this man's life and really transformed him and changed him. So keep your eyes open for the next coach in your life. Open space for that coach, right? Don't know better, right? That's what we do a lot. I know better. Hold space. Don't feel like you're the smartest person in the room. You know there's people out there that can teach you amazing things. And then be prepared to go on your hero's journey. Be prepared to change. Be prepared to spread your wings and fly. And then you can go check out this movie, Crazy Stupid Love, and see what you think about it. Maybe you can write it in the comments for me and tell me how you interpreted this movie. All right, everybody. This was Rise Studio G, bringing you the Greg Schumacher Experience. Mm -hmm.